Hey folks, I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the Split Warlord campaign. We're currently on the Dream of Audacity, but we're no longer alone in the fleet. We actually have a another rattlesnake. Uh, I was kind of hoping to get it in <laughs> the same shot, but that kind of failed. Um, but this fleet is now uh, consisting of three rattlesnakes. I took a bit of a damage because we had a fight here with AK. We have the floating debris and we have the dawn of empires. Unfortunately, currently there's a buck going on. When I click it, I will always go grant to grand exchange. Not particularly sure why it is somewhat annoying because that means I cannot use the R button. Cannot use the button over here. I will just keep going to grand exchange already saved, loaded, all of this stuff. It's fine. Uh, eventually that will go away. So I'm hoping the crew will still repair the damage up to, well, a bit more than uh, 87. Because, uh, yeah, actually it's 78. Because it's expensive. It's very expensive. So, yeah, we're waiting for the other rattlesnake to get in here. They're currently defending position and it's been very, very necessary actually. Because they have been constantly harassing us. Now... I have been making money again, and I like making money. We got 19 over here, 11 over there. If anything, if I estimate this, I can buy another rattlesnake. Or I don't. One of the others. We have a lot of stuff to do. Because I took advantage of the shortcoming of the AI, and that is going to be banking on advanced electronics. We're also going into weapon components and missile components i still need to go into scanning array and turret components but that is just tanking a bit too much from my empire let me get my production sheet of uh, of this particular station with that uh, and you'll see this in the overview uh, currently, it says that we have a negative of 360 energy. That's not true because we are in a system that provides me with 130%. I haven't calculated that into my sheet yet. I, I know how to do it for some stations, but it's just when you have multiple stations, it's just too much work to actually get that done. So currently, we're going to be producing uh, over 2,000 advanced electronics uh, and just over 1,000 missile components and weapon components. We definitely need to get the third components done. Uh, quantum tubes, microchips, and scanning array. We don't have scanning array. And yeah, we don't have the money to get into that. You know, it's a never-ending circle because of my POS. Let me get this out of your face again. So the POS has not been lucky. It actually has gotten damage. And I don't like that. We need to change that. Because right now... Yeah, that's 80%. And I think there is there was a wreckage of one uh, Kach for, Forester? Forager? One of these guys. Uh, forager. Uh, if it did all of that damage, then oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be rough. Very, very rough. Well, don't need the money in that. We're still building this up. We don't have Claytronics because we're just tanking it in here. I'm considering dropping the 5 million to get the building done, but yeah, as long as this is counting down, I'm not going to be bothered by it. So, why don't we just build the POS a tiny bit. Because, yeah, what else, right? I don't like the way it's designed right now. There's several points in which we can play around with. And we know that the POS, when you've done the Genesis mission, will be able to jump around and we can do terraforming. And the terraforming would actually be very handy to have Especially if you bring it to the Taladi. I think it's like um, the one in uh, Memory of Profit, one or the other. But that gives you the the building that will uh, train pilots up to, I think, like level 4. So that is 
something we need to keep in mind. We do want to go towards that, but that would mean that the POS uh, by itself would need to be a place that one is defending itself and as much as I like the discs, having it on the inner circle is not very useful. Or is it? Uh, if we can build off here. Like, I'm curious. What have you guys been doing with your POS? How have you been building it up? Because I would imagine it to be a place that you use for terraforming, but also to make profits. And if it's about profits, then we need to get this station into high tier as quickly as possible while it is able to defend itself from attacks. And that... Uh, oh, audio just cuts out. That's weird. Uh, anyways, uh, let us take a quick look at what we would need for that. So, the high tier stuffs would be... Claytronics, uh, missile components, uh, weapon components, but also advanced electronics. And to get those, we would need advanced composites, quantum tubes, and microchips. So, yeah, we have a lot of building to do in order for this station. What the hell is this? No, no, cancel that. Go away. Just go back. Wrong button. Never mind. So these are the four modules that we're going to be aiming for. And that means I would actually need a another production sheet just for the POS. So let me quickly... No, I'll, I'll just do that on, on my own terms. Let's just start building this up a tiny bit. Uh, let's remove these. How would we design it? Because the base taking a beating, that is definitely not something we would like. Also, this storage? <laughs> yeah, that's a joke. Joke and a half. Uh, let's get some energy cells on here. And we can just quickly put you over there. If we then use... A cross connection... It would be able to get over there. And we can use this to drop down some storage. But would it be far enough away from this module to get a large storage in? Uh, I'm afraid that it is a no. Unless we flip it. Still no. Yeah, these modules are just a bit too much. Also, it seems my... Camera is drifting. And that's because I'm on a ship. Oh, that would work. But ugly, though. Can we not just fit it down there? Wow, this is so annoying that my camera is drifting. If we just build you... Let's, let's get a... Let's get a bridge in between. Hit us. Then use that. But we could also change that. I'm so I'm I'm always indecisive when it comes to building, guys. I'm sorry for that. I don't want this. We're going to be using you. And then we'll just use another bridge. Yeah, that would actually work. And then we can actually put you down over there. It is currently organizing into this direction. How would that go with the weapons? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Although, I think if we really want to use it. And we flip it to go into this direction. Well, we still have the bridge, though. It's going to be a lot of plasma. Let's confirm the loadout. Confirm this change. 
And then just start by getting a large liquid. And I would like to actually fit that on top. And this is currently definitely not positioned the way I like that. I think that is decent. Or we can do two medium. No, I think we want to go large. Don't need to place anything down here. If we can build into this direction. And then definitely want to utilize this spot. If we can get a... Another dock. And then can we do a T-dock in here? Would that... Would they allow that? Hello. They would. Uh, yeah, that would work actually. That would actually work. Then confirm that. Let's remove this entire sequence. And we need a place for the solids. Uh, I'm actually just going to be putting that down here. I want another bridge over here. So we can definitely maximize the defendability. Confirm that. We'll do the loadout. High preset. That should hopefully work. And it doesn't. Plasma, plasma, shards. Yeah, that's fine. Large plasma for sure. Because that's just funny when you see a scene in K coming in. Uh, energy. Yeah, energy can just be whatever. It's fine. Bridge. Ah, it's kind of stupid that they haven't got this to work. 50-50. That's 50, 50, uh, 50 plasma, 50 shards. Uh, medium, shot, medium, shot, medium, shot, medium. Yeah, and they're all medium. I just do that for my brain. It's currently in the middle of the night. I'm sorry for that. I usually don't want to record because of my... Hmm... My, my thinking pattern. Let's just call it thinking pattern. Let's call this... Uh, save as new. Yeah. Confirm that loadout. And then do this bridge. And I want that other storage. And then we'll let this build. So, solid. Yeah, that, I think that should be okay um confirm that i'll let the resources that's weird price to buy all the resources is wow it just jumped up to five million um let us assign a builder which is going to be patriarch hopefully he will survive no guarantees once that is done we'll can actually start working on the uh, on the rest but we do need to get uh some repair drones and defense drones and cargo drones, all of that shenanigans. Okay, what is currently going on with where we are? Yeah, I wish I could use that uh, R option. There's a lot of ships. I recently had an encounter with, um, I think it's called a Space Command H. Wow, that ship, that was something else. It just melted my rattlesnake, which uh, I definitely do not like. But, you know, uh, we, uh, we'll find a way. We'll uh, work around it. Uh, how is the Jaguar doing? I set that up to collect the drops. Uh, yeah, that is not too interesting right now uh where's the empire of dawn it seems that the retrofit is now done yeah it is where is it i 
I say retrofit, it's a refit, mainly. Wait, is he already here? No, yeah, he's already here. Cool. We have our third rattlesnake. Now, um, keep in mind, guys, you can always drop me names. Uh, I have a text file where I, uh, I'll leave them, and when I use a name, I'll just get it out. But this is going to be cool. I'm hoping that this pilot... Like, ooh, oh, he absolutely is horrible. Uh, he will level up soon enough, though. I'm hoping this guy will be coming... Will actually go to, like, a level 3. So I could use... Um, like, other attack patterns and level them up further. But uh, right now, it's not really help. Oh, dude, what are you doing? There should be enough firepower to actually keep him safe. What is the Talati doing here? Interesting. Yeah. One of, the th one of the things that we could actually do is get a trade license. I have yet to pick up the trade license and see some of the no. bases have started to disappear. Um, and this one is not even... Updating, I think. Yeah, definitely. Not updating trade orders. It's, it's grayed out. It's just... I'm not sure if some of the stations are drifting. Or not. Advanced electronics. Advanced electronics. We also need to get the scanning array. And to get into turret components. Okay, let's teleport. I love that we can just teleport over there. Now, I'm hoping no station messengers... Entering. But I cannot make any guarantees. <laughs> okay, never mind. Ah, uh, sorry, I had a freeze. Uh, licenses. Do I want to get this right now? Do I need to? Well, it kind of depends. Yeah, just just split. Give me modules. How much would? How much is the um? Man. Yeah, it's still a lot of money. Let's take a look. Scanning array is 4.6. But we then could get third components. Uh, let me get my file in here. What else do we need? Um, I should have quantum tubes. Yeah, I, I do. So scanning array gives me the turret components. What do we need for shield components? Okay, we actually have everything. The drone components, I don't really mind having them right now because I could also I need smart chips for that. Uh, yeah, smart chips. Okay, how much? How much? How much? Smart chips is not even a million. Let's just take that. Medical supplies, spice, shield components is free. Uh, Kelt we don't need. Anti-matter converters I do not need. Drone components. Field core is way too expensive. Do I need field core for the engine parts? Uh, where the hell are the engine parts? No, we don't. What do we need field core for? It's actually an end product. Why would I want that right now? I think we have more than enough. To, um, let's get the engine parts as well. I'll just leave this. And we almost have all of the blueprint. Uh, blue uh, wow, blueprints. Let's do it like this. Okay, cool. Uh, auto save, which is fine. I do not dare to just stay on the station while we uh, start planning out this build. Um, but I will just start building... And it will be a while until it's done because, well, I want to use this uh, 
Dreadnought of a station. My very first do-it-all station. Never have one of these stations. I, I don't like them. But why not, right? Why not? So while I'll start doing that, let me cut away for that, okay? Okay, wow. Um, that took me a lot longer than expected. Um, that's a lot. Oh, wow. So what have I... Well, what am I going to have? In order for this to work... If, so we can actually have four missile component units, four weapon components, four turret components, four shield components. Oh, well, we, uh, we also needed to add one more plasma conductor, two more quantum tube, uh, a bunch more microchips, uh, and then... Not more silicon wafers, that, we, that should already be there, but superfluid coolant and energy. And that comes down to a whopping price of 28.5 million. Uh, of course, we're not going to be spending that, uh, but I am going to do the following. I am, for the time being, not going to be selling the Claytronics. We're going to be using that ourselves, and that's only 864. And how much would we need... Oh, wow, that would be 10 hours. Okay, we're going to be saving up money, and I will definitely going to be buying that. Uh, that means that stopping this is not going to be useful. But when this Hello. is done, we should actually make a lot of money. Especially with the advanced electronics going on, eight of those um, does does actually make us quite a decent chunk. Uh, so, yeah. Let's take a look how everything is going. Because I've not been looking at what's going on in the galaxy. It seems that we are currently attacking. And the hull of these two... Wait, what are you doing there? What's a K doing here? Wait, what? What's been going on? Wow, um, it seems that I missed another K completely. How much are they damaged? Oh, they're pretty damaged. Oh, I do not like that. That means that it is actually time to send this entire fleet for repairs. Uh, let's do it quickly like this. Uh, can I not do the entire fleet? Upgrade and pass. Yeah. Two. Wait, only two? Oh, because the dream of audacity is not in the same group, huh? That's... That's great. Uh, wow. Also, the traveling engine has been damaged, apparently. Add that to shopping. As well as the dream. Yeah, that, that's... Um, that's expensive. Damn. Well, actually, the one thing that it proves for me is that these three can deal with that K. <sighs> but that was quite a bit of damage. Um, how is the... Oh, I keep doing that. High-tech factory doing in the free company of the free families? It should actually be close to finished. Uh, we're still not having the large... Ah, oh, man, that, that's kind of annoying. Um, the way they set it up, the way it's building, it's currently just not building the storage first. I should actually have changed that. If we're currently building this design... Um... Yeah, you know, it, it's because I'm already far in this process that I will just let it go. But... I don't like massive stations and I kind of wished I didn't start the ring in the first place. Thinking back of it, I can definitely understand why people were like, hmm, very reluctant about should I just build it like this? 
And I'm also getting sick and tired of this drift to the left. I'm not touching any buttons. It could actually be... Oh, it was... No, it's drifting again. It's... It's, um, it's a drift on my joystick, apparently. Now it stopped. Oh, man, I was annoyed by that the entire time when I was building that. Um, but, yeah, I think that was a solid 20 minutes of me tinkering the station. Once that is done, I have high hopes. Um, how is this going? Claytronics are getting in. Energy cells are getting in. Um, hopefully, the turrets will also be created. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see about that. So, what do we do moving forward? There is a K on the loose in here, and there's actually a rattlesnake. It should make short work of this. There we go. It's now gone. I think the next step for us is either build this up to five, and then start a new fleet over here. And once we have two fleets of five, we can either go for another two fleets, one over there, one over here, or we will start moving into uh, Riles Defiance. See if we can take this system away from the Xenon. This is too much. Uh, attacking a Xenon shipyard, last time I tried I needed quite a good amount of ships because of the, um, the drones. So I'm thinking... We could potentially start doing the Atikva mission for Dell. So we can have him on the POS. Uh, we have a Jaguar, which is not ideal. We do need a ship that is a bit more reliable. Or, in order to get that ship, we could do the Boron mission. So let me know in the comment section what would be the ideal one which one to start if we do the boron we get a ship if we do dell we if we do the attic for choice we get dell uh that opens up the internal war between the patriarch and the free families that is currently not high on my agenda dealing with the free families because we still have to go and deal with the arc confederation then battleships though could be all that we need in order for that to work. But yeah, we have a hello. lot of stuff going on. And that is just driving me crazy. Could you stop saying hello, dude? Seriously, he's like, hello? Now, I understand why you say hello. He's like, oh my god, this guy is not doing okay. Let's just teleport back to... The war fleet. I know we haven't been using it as a war fleet, and that's because we're pretty weak. Once my economy is back on its feet, it shouldn't be too Entering difficult. Zion's also, Dominion. we are actively helping the Patriarch to deal with their shortages. And once those shortages are dealt with, um, we can start building ships and not worry about it. Um, the scanning array is getting that. Did I actually add the scanning array? Yeah, I got one of them. How much is that? Scanning array. That would be 216. That's 136 left over. Um, yeah. Uh, how is the rest of the economy looking? Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, looks fine. So what we will be producing in the near future is 3,432 smart chips, 4,500 missile components, 3,600 weapon components, 3,600 turret components, 2,300 shield components, 2,000 advanced electronics, and the rest, you know, some hull parts, like 7,000 hull parts. The rest is not too interesting. 
So yeah, lots of stuff that I need to start doing while babysitting my miniature fleet over here. So they are healing up. Uh, if the crew starts getting into specialist repairs will be better. But we also need to start training marines. Oh, there's just so much we need to do. There is a lot, guys. A lot. And I have been doing so much work already. So, once again, please, let me know in the comment section what mission we should start running. Ideally, would potentially be the Boron mission. Because um, I can just do that, like, off-camera because I hate the mission uh, involving the Kach. And it, it's just a lot of talking. But it also gives us a trading partner. Because I think... Uh, Boron? Boron? Boron is at negative 5. We can actually trade with them. Using the POS as a base... We can definitely start selling those materials to the Boron. From over here. We are going to be claiming this system... But there's, own, there's 180 sunlight, actually. That's quite nice. Then only ores. We need to deal with the um, the car and we need to deal with the scale plate pack. And I need to get into boarding again. Because they are... The Argon Federation just don't give anything about crossing into our territory. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, guys. Anyways, uh, I hope this sort of... It's, it's more like an update video at the moment. Uh, where I am just trying to get everything into a position where we can just start doing stuff. I would never buy, build another station like this. Because it's just... It's too much work. If this was just... A station that has a good I can just add 15 more modules and let it go you know th this is just min maxing and I dislike that in this particular game so yeah uh, I have a lot of work to do guys so I'll see you next time have a good one bye bye